एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ निधि गौतम एन इंटर्न एट यू बी एडवोकेट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ जीवन प्रकाश एडवोकेट ऑन रिकॉर्ड सुप्रीम कोर्ट टूडे माई टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज जुवेन आयल जस्टिस केयर एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट जुवेन आयल जस्टिस एक्ट इन एवर्स द जुवेन आयल जस्टिस बोर्ड टू एग्जामिन द चाइल्ड एंड टू एक्सेस इफ द क्राइम वॉज कमिटेड एज अ चाइल्ड और एडल्ट एंड परमिट्स जुवेन आयल्स बिटवीन सिक्सटीन टू एटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज टू बी ट्राइड एज एडल्ट फॉर हीनियस ऑफेंसिस एंड विद साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड सोशल एक्सपर्ट्स विल इंश्योर राइट्स ऑफ जुवेन आयल आर प्रोटेक्टेड इफ द क्राइम वॉज कमिटेड एज अ चाइल्ड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट्स हिस्ट्री In order to achieve the objectives of the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child as ratified by India on 11th of December 1992 the Juvenile Justice Act has been promulgated the law addresses the problems like delay in adoption process high number of pending cases etc and growing number of crimes committed by children aged 16 to 18 years in recent years since 15 January Uh, 2016 the jj act 2015 came into force it repeals the jj act of 2000 it contains provisions for teenagers who commit a heinous crime must be tried as adults but in the juvenile court if found guilty sent to a safe place until the age of 21 after then transferred to prison silent features of the act definition of child in need of care and protection expanded child welfare committee is no longer the final authority procedure for inquiry and extensive definition of adoption provided two categories of children who are protected under jj act children in conflict with law and in need of care and protection some reasons for children to commit a crime that are school dropout substance abuse peer pressure bullying neglected by parents depression and also the attention seekers Uh, it has some criticism like many protesters criticize the new law on minors for being unconstitutional because the benefit of a child is not granted to the minor when found guilty of heinous crime some says that it violates the spirit of article 21 clause 1 of the constitution that a person cannot be sentenced to a harsher sentence than that which would have be have been applied to him or her If a sentenced minor reaches the age of 21 but has not completed his entire sentence, he can be sent to prison if deemed appropriate. This new law undermines the spirit of Article 20, Clause 1. It has three types of offences uh, that are defined in Section 14: are petty offence, serious offence, and heinous offence. Uh, some recent amendments by Lok Sabha are. the juveniles between the age of 16 to 18 have the trial and the legal proceedings in adult courts any child that is convicted of any crime will currently be sent for a preliminary evaluation for 3 months earlier it is 1 month the child will not go through any form of disqualification or elimination in education or jobs uh, due to the crime under this act the guilty records shall be reviewed after the completion period of appeal except in the case of atrocious crimes some general principles of care and protection of children are defined in section 3 of the act uh, that are principle of best interest of the child principle of presumption of innocence principle of right to maintain privacy and confidentiality principle of equality and non discrimination principle of participation principle of diversion and safety principle of natural justice and fresh start and principle of family responsibility and positive measures a uh, juvenile justice board juvenile justice board comprises of uh, principal magistrate and its tenure is 3 years and one social two social workers one uh, is uh, one is a woman is mandatory each board is inquired to decide the age of the child the question of bail and the sub- subject of a commission of the offence and pass proper orders considered to be secure child welfare committee consists of one chairperson four members of state government in which one is woman is compulsory functions and responsibilities of committees are promoting awareness conducting inquiry directing the child welfare officers to conduct a social investigation inquiry for fit persons taking care and security of children handling placement of a child in foster care conducting two inspection visits per month and 
orphan and abandoned children are legally free for adoption here comes to the conclusion that uh, while most approaches to juvenile justice focus on the punishment or treatment of juvenile delinquents the restorative justice process seeks to repair wrongs by involving the entire community in offender rehabilitation and holding them accountable for their behavior it is absolutely imperative to rehabilitate and reintegrate the child into society and to make him understand the grievance and serious responsibility for the offense he has committed young minds being the future of the society their age the physical constitution must be taken into account and mental the restorative justice system also maintains this objective as its overarching goal thank you